Hey guys, welcome back to RC Tracks. And today I'm going to be talking about motor brushless motor technology. And uh, one of those technologies is the use of a sensor. And uh, so I'm going to be talking about is it worth the extra cash to get a censored motor? Now, so first, there's a few categories I'd like to go over. Uh, first is price. Uh, censored, sensorless motors are a lot cheaper in price versus the censored motor just because they have to have that extra wire sticking out and additional technology is required. Then another category is speed. If you had the same type of motor, same KV, same same deal, but if you if one was sensorless and one was censored, the sensorless one would go a little bit faster, probably not by much, maybe a couple miles an hour, but there still is a difference uh, via the speed of the motors. Another application is torque. Which motor has more torque? Um, honestly, you could say uh, a censored has more low speed torque, Low speed sensor has a lot more torque than a sensorless. Higher speed, uh, they have about the same though. Ready, go. All right, another category for uh, the censored versus sensorless is uh, how are these motors made? Um, a censored, uh, censored motor uh, has a little. Uh, what a sensor basically is is it's an extra wire that goes into the ESC, and um, it's basically a little extra circuitry inside there that tells you where the position of the motor rotor is. So basically, the motor rotor. It does rhyme. Um, it's inside, it's the little thing that makes the motor spin, that sort of stuff. This motor, yep, it's off, so I'll show you the rotor of this Vlanion. Alright, here, this is the rotor, and the sensor, oh, it's magnetic. Uh, these rotors aren't to stick to anything, but it's the sen this is the rotor of the motor, if you haven't seen it. Uh, this is a two-pole rotor, four-pole rotors will have kind of two, four bars across. And uh, basically, uh, this is where the shaft comes out, and then the magnets spin to make this spin. Or whatever, uh, whatever that, how that kind of works. And uh, the rotor, you know, it tells you where the position. So there's like a little sensor around here. There's something, so when it's spinning, it knows the exact position of the rotor. So cogging basically is is when the ESC tells the motor to go, but it, it probably doesn't think the position of the rotor is where the position actually is. So when the ESC is uh, spinning the rotor, it can kind of cog and judder. And it won't go as slow. And yeah, that's kind of the rotor. So it just senses the position of the rotor for smoother acceleration and such. Pop that back in. And yeah, that's basically uh, what the rotor means uh, with brushless motor technology. Next we're going to be talking about application. Which application is best for a sensorless motor, such as this Traxxas Valenion? And which application is best for the censored motor, such as this Trinity Monster Horsepower 13.5? Um, this is a small motor. This is meant for buggies. This is use, usually comes on pretty much every single Traxxas truck. Um, that is brushless, 10 scale. And uh, the application, I think, uh, for racing definitely get a censored motor. Censored motors uh, definitely do a lot better at racing and I'm gonna tell you why in a little bit. But if you're racing, get a censored. If you're just bashing around, uh, sensorless because you don't need the sensor when you're going high speed bashing around and uh, it is a little uh, more cost friendly. Another category is heat. Uh, which motor gets hotter and which motor runs a bit cooler. The censored motor does run, I find, a little bit hotter than a typical censored motor. I mean, a sensor-less motor. 
And the reason is that because of that extra circuitry required for that uh, censored motor. Now, uh, here's another thing. Um, why, if you're racing, you need a censored, and why bashing you need a sensor? Was what's essentially the difference, uh, handling and power-wise? Um, and basically, sensorless motors are pretty much a good option for bashers. And the reason is, is because they're just easy. Uh, they, you know, they they can take abuse. Uh, censored motors are a little bit more delicate. My sensor board actually blew out on this one. It had to be replaced. Uh, some, some censored motors are waterproof, such as Castle's ones. Uh, a lot of sensorless motors nowadays are waterproof, so you're not going to find many waterproof censored motors, but you'll find a lot of waterproof sensorless motors. Um, for track driving, the reason a censored motor is much better is because when you're driving, you need the most feel with the car, I guess I'm saying. You need to know what what the car wants to do. Uh, you just have to have that connection with the car. Uh, sensor-less motors tend to be a little bit all kind of around the place, like they'll jerk, they're kind of they'll kind of not accelerate smoothly. The biggest thing about censored motors is at low speeds, they're just smooth, they operate smoothly, you won't get any weird jerks or cogging or anything like that. They can go much lower speed, which is probably good around turns when you're slowing down to really take a big turn. Um, it just has more connection or feel uh, with the driver. Um, censored motors, I would definitely say better, a lot better for racing. You don't need a censored motor, but it definitely probably will cut your lap times down a lot. Um, sensorless motors, like I said, are for bashing. Uh, these uh, type of censored motors, you know, like I said, they're a little bit delicate. You know, there's holes in here and stuff like that. They're, this is a complete sealed can. So you're not going to be expecting this thing, but uh, most sensor censored motors kind of have holes in them and aerodynamic and up there. So they're a little less rugged, I guess I could say. Um, but, you know and they're a little more, they're a little slower, like I said, and just a sensorless motor is good for bashing, uh, but a sensorless motor is a lot. Now, that's my complete comparison for you guys on censored versus sensorless, you know, which is better for your application, or uh, which one should you get, or what are the differences, kind of answering all your questions uh, about that, and uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you like this video, if I miss something, make sure to comment down below. And yeah, that's about it. RC Tracks, signing out.